Toxic Secrets Behind Victorian Beauty, The Shocking Truth Unveiled. The allure of Victorian beauty standards captivates many, woven with an air of mystique and elegance. This era, marked by strict societal norms, held a unique perception of beauty that continues to fascinate. It invites us into a world where grace, modesty, and refinement define the essence of allure, setting the stage for a beauty ideal that was both enigmatic and highly coveted. The Victorian era, a period stretching from 1837 to 1901 under Queen Victoria's reign, was a time of significant change. It witnessed the Industrial Revolution, which brought about social, economic, and technological shifts. These transformations influenced every aspect of Victorian life, including the prevailing beauty standards, making it a rich field for historical and cultural exploration. In the Victorian age, beauty was defined by a pale complexion, signifying a life of leisure away from manual labor sun exposure. Women aspired to have small waists, accentuated by corsetry, and full skirts that emphasized an hourglass figure. Hair was styled elaborately, and modesty was paramount, with fashion and appearance playing crucial roles in societal standing and courtship. Victorian cosmetics were distinct, emphasizing natural beauty enhanced subtlety. Ingredients were often homemade, including lead for whiteness and belladonna drops to brighten the eyes, reflecting the era's innocence and purity. However, the pursuit of beauty had its perils, as some of the ingredients used were far from benign. A dark secret lurked behind the flawless complexions of Victorian women, arsenic. Used to achieve the coveted pale look, arsenic was a common ingredient in cosmetics, despite its deadly properties. This toxic element's inclusion in beauty products reveals a troubling aspect of Victorian society's quest for physical perfection, hinting at the dangerous lengths to which women would go to conform to beauty ideals. Arsenic, once celebrated for its complexion clearing properties, found its way into Victorian cosmetics through society's relentless pursuit of an idealized beauty. This era, marked by its strict social norms, saw women striving for porcelain-like skin, a symbol of purity and aristocracy. Consequently, arsenic became a sought-after ingredient in beauty concoctions, promising to deliver this coveted appearance. The allure of arsenic was not without reason. Counted for its promising beauty benefits, it was believed to provide a radiant, youthful complexion by eliminating blemishes and creating a fair, unblemished skin tone. This promise of enhanced beauty and social acceptance led many women to overlook the inherent dangers of arsenic, incorporating it into their daily beauty routines without a second thought. Despite its toxic nature, the science of the time did little to deter its use in cosmetics. Limited understanding of toxicology and the lack of regulatory frameworks meant arsenic was used freely, with many manufacturers and users unaware or dismissive of its lethal potential. This gap in knowledge allowed arsenic-laden products to flourish in the Victorian beauty market. Women applied arsenic-laden cosmetics through various means, from powders to face creams, often unknowingly exposing themselves to its deadly effects. Daily use of such products was not uncommon, with many believing the benefits far outweighed the risks. This routine exposure was a ticking time bomb, setting the stage for numerous health issues. Real-life stories of Victorian women affected by arsenic bring to light the tragic consequences of this beauty trend. From chronic illnesses to fatal outcomes, these case studies serve as a grim reminder of the era's misguided pursuit of beauty at any cost. These narratives not only highlight the physical toll but also the societal pressures that led women down this dangerous path. Early medical advice against the use of arsenic in cosmetics highlighted the inherent dangers, yet such warnings often fell on deaf ears. Doctors of the era were well aware of the toxic effects arsenic could have on the body, advocating for safer beauty practices. Despite the well-documented risks, society's obsession with achieving the Victorian ideal of beauty often overshadowed concerns for health. Women, and even some men, continued to use arsenic-laden products, valuing societal approval and the allure of physical attractiveness above their well-being. Advertising played a cunning role in the perpetuation of arsenic cosmetics, with marketers extolling the virtues of these products without disclosing their poisonous ingredient. Advertisements promised flawless skin and eternal youth, skillfully manipulating the desires of consumers for commercial gain. The health impacts of prolonged arsenic exposure were devastating, with symptoms ranging from skin lesions to organ failure. The pursuit of beauty had deadly consequences, leading to chronic illnesses and, in severe cases, premature death among devoted users. Arsenic found its way beyond cosmetics, infiltrating other Victorian beauty practices such as hair removal creams and weight loss remedies. This widespread use further entrenched the toxin in daily routines, making its adverse health effects even more pervasive. 
The turning point in public opinion on arsenic cosmetics came when the dire consequences became too evident to ignore. As stories of illness and death linked to these products surfaced, a collective awareness began to dismantle the previously unassailable allure of arsenic-based beauty. In the legal and social aftermath, activists and concerned citizens rallied for change, demanding stricter regulations on beauty products. This movement led to the eventual ban of arsenic in cosmetics, marking a significant victory for public health and safety in the beauty industry. The legacy of arsenic in Victorian beauty serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us of the dangers hidden behind the pursuit of aesthetic perfection. It highlights the importance of scrutinizing beauty standards and the ingredients used in cosmetics, urging a more informed and health-conscious approach. Today, modern parallels to the arsenic beauty craze can be seen in the continued glorification of harmful beauty practices and products. This underscores the ongoing need for ingredient awareness and the prioritization of safety over superficial standards in the beauty industry. Reflecting on this history shapes our understanding of beauty and health, stressing the importance of embracing beauty standards that prioritize well-being over appearance. It teaches us to question and critically evaluate the safety and ethics of our beauty practices, ensuring a healthier future for all. Reflecting on the history of arsenic in Victorian beauty practices offers invaluable insights into how societal norms shape our understanding of beauty and health. It highlights the critical need for a balanced perspective that values well-being alongside aesthetic appeal. This history serves as a poignant reminder of the importance of questioning and critically evaluating the standards and ingredients we today consider beautiful or desirable. Embracing beauty standards that prioritize health over mere appearance is not just a personal choice but a societal necessity. As we learn from the past, it becomes clear that beauty practices should enhance, not compromise, our well-being. Moving forward, it's essential to foster beauty ideals that celebrate health, diversity, and the intrinsic worth of every individual, steering clear of harmful substances and unrealistic expectations.